Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is I'm lonely, but I'm too angry to date again after a breakup. We go through many emotions after we are getting through heartbreak. And one of the good things here is when you get to the anger stage, you're usually coming out the other side. Because when you're angry, you're not feeling as much of the love and, the, and missing that person because you're, you're now understanding and dealing with the aftermath of what transpired. And sometimes you're more angry at yourself because maybe something you allowed to happen, maybe something that you ignored with red flags. And so as you walk away from your relationship, you're sitting here going, what did I do that for? Why did I not see this with this person? Don't beat yourself up over it. It's really something that we all go through in our lifetime. We all deal with the, the aftermath of a painful breakup. If you don't deal with something like that in your life, then you're not experiencing the things the way you should. Because each relationship you go through, you should learn things from. You don't want to continue bad behavioral patterns. So when you sometimes you get angry, it's because you're, you're just trying to deal with and understand all the stuff that led you to the end of your relationship. That's okay. Anger in small doses can be a good thing as long as it's not directed at someone else. Because remember, you are in charge of who you bring into your life. That is an important thing to remember. So if you are angry at the person, and not taking any responsibility th from the breakup, you will be stuck for a lot longer. It's very difficult to get through a breakup when you're in the sad stage because you're holding on to those really good memories. You're holding on to the great things that you had together and you shared together as a couple. The problem is if they were really that great, you'd probably still be together. And that's another thing to think about with each stage that you do go through when you are trying to get over a, a past relationship. I always suggest if you're not a great communicator to just jot down things that go through your head during the day. Make a pros and cons list. Just make a list of what you're feeling every day when you get up because the less time that you put energy into thinking about your ex, you will be able to move on faster. And sometimes just writing it down actually is therapeutic for you. And this is especially if you don't want to go see a therapist or you just want to try and deal with it on your own. I get that. Sometimes you just want to take the time and try and understand what happened. Sit down in your own quiet time and just rehash everything that went on. Make notes, go back and read those notes and every day add a little bit more to it. This will really help you because it takes away those deep rooted feelings you have that you're stuck in because you miss your ex, but it also gives you clarity as to why you're not with them. Take time to focus on you. Be selfish. Get some self care. Go for massages. Go for some kind of pampering that you might like to do that you don't do very often. Something that just makes you feel good. Bring humor into your life. Watch a couple of funny things to start your day in the morning. A couple of funny videos. Something that makes you laugh out loud. Because these are the little things that bring you closer and closer and closer to removing yourself from missing what you had with your ex. The more that you, you sit there and you pine about what you had with them, the longer you will stay stuck. So the less time each day you put thought into your past relationship, your past partner, is more time that you will be able to put into getting and moving forward. Be intelligent about what happened. Don't hold on to the ego part of what happened because maybe they broke up with you. Sit down and say to yourself, were we really a good couple? Should we have been together? And you'll start to see what I'm talking about. But you have to take the time. No dating, no getting back out there right away. Just take the time to understand why you chose this person in your life, what you learned from this person, 
what bettered you by being with this person and what maybe was harmful, maybe hurtful, maybe something that just wasn't a good fit and understand why it wasn't. Every time you go through something like that, it does build strength. It makes you stronger. So learn from that and change course. Go in a bit of a different direction. It doesn't mean you have to uproot your entire life, but just try something different. Bring new things into your life because those things didn't work. So don't repeat a pattern. Really, really be aware of that. And please don't regret past partnerships because there's always something that you learned. Maybe you taught them something. Maybe you were in their life to teach them something. Whatever the scenario is, it's still something that you are being taught and you have to take those lessons with you so that when you move on to a better place, you're aware of those red flags. You're aware of what you don't want in your life as well as what you do want. And it's important to have a clear vision of both of those sides. You will start to see things so much more clear, like it'll just stand out to you. I get it. I get why we didn't work out. And that's when you know you're ready again because you're not sitting there missing them. You're not crying about them anymore. You're actually feeling a, a lightness to yourself. You're getting out. You're enjoying yourself. You're not wanting to stay at home and, and hibernate under the covers because you're healing. That's when you know you're getting ready to be able to get out and date again. When you're not holding on to resentment anymore and every day goes by with less and less thinking about your breakup, you're on the path to being in a better place. You understand now why the anger was there, why you were sad. You've dealt with all the different emotions and you understand now that this is where you were meant to be, not in that place anymore, in a new environment. And each time that you do this, you will become closer and closer to finding your person because you're not sitting there harboring resentment for years to come. Some people have one breakup and never get over it. And that's very sad to me that they hold on to that resentment because it just changes their whole life. They don't find happiness because they're stuck in that place. You also don't feel any time restraints. There's no pressure to be in a relationship. You want to meet somebody, but you don't need to be, meet somebody. You're quite comfortable being alone and being independent, but you also enjoy sharing your time with somebody. And you want to find a partner that you can be in love with again. These are all really healthy signs that you're ready. You need to always be respected and you need to feel that you have a reciprocated love with somebody. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and please click like on the video and leave any comments you have. I love hearing from you. Thanks so much. Bye.